welcome back to my channel. So this is a random video. I usually upload every Sunday at noon, but I thought I would go ahead and upload one today just to keep you guys updated on what's going on with the baby and me and when we'll see her. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, that's usually where I post most of my pregnancy updates. Um, and you probably don't know that I am currently 40 weeks and 4 days right now, today. Since I am overdue, my doctor may run some tests and do a few things just to make sure that the baby was okay. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about what all has been going on. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you probably wouldn't know that I'm currently at 40 weeks and 4 days with my baby girl. She was due September 1st and today is September 5th and we are just still waiting for her to make her appearance. Yesterday we had a doctor's appointment on the 4th and it was just a typical weekly appointment where she checked to see if I was dilated. I finally have dilated to a 1. We're making a little bit of progress there. Um, I also started having some cramps, um, contractions, whatever you want to call them, for the past, I don't know, almost week now. I've had quite a bit more, so a baby might be coming soon. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, she did her usual exam that she does, and then she talked to me, um, once her patients become over 40 weeks, she just wants to take the precaution and have us take a non or a fetal non stress test. Blech. A fetal non stress test. If you don't know what that is, it's basically you go into um, labor and delivery and they hook you up on the monitors one for her heart rate and one for your contractions and they just watch your heart rate and your contractions for 20 minutes to an hour. During that time you're given like a sweet drink like apple juice or cranberry juice and um, you just sit there and you just get monitored. Baby girl did really good. She had really high fluctuations in her heart rate and then she had really low heart fluctuations which is very normal um, for babies to have heart rates that can go up to 160 and then drop down to like 100. She passed with fine colors with that and after that was done we were sent downstairs to do an ultrasound and during that ultrasound she checked for the amniotic fluid to make sure that none of it was leaking out and that she still had enough to move around. And she also monitored and made sure that the baby is moving around um, constantly at a good rate. And she did both of those. Baby girl was doing good. We also got to see that she was facing head down and her face was facing my coccyx and she's good and ready to go. But nothing significant is happening um, since everything turned out good we don't have to be forced into an induction right away um, but I do have an appointment scheduled on Monday to talk about an induction if she doesn't come before the 9th. You guys probably also don't know because I don't think I talked about it on my YouTube and I don't think I talked about it on my Instagram either I want to do an all-natural birth, try not to do any medications of any sort. That is why an induction is really scary to me because I do not want to go through that and I hear that if you're induced it can go very quickly and it can be very painful um, or it can just take days and be painful and I'm just, I'm already nervous as it is. But if it's more intense than it usually is, then I'm definitely not ready for that. Um, so we're hoping that baby girl will come on her own and we can have a natural labor without any medication. 
and just um, manage my pain through breathing and just the yoga ball tactics, walking around, um, using the shower that they provide at the hospital to get through it all. What's new in 40 weeks? I know I haven't posted like a bump day in a really long time here on my channel, but I do bump dates on my Instagram. Um, but for 40 weeks, nothing has really changed. I feel the same. Baby just feels a little bit heavier than she did last week. Um, but nothing new. There's no new symptoms. I feel great. Luckily, this whole pregnancy, I have felt great, except for the first trimester, of course. I had morning sickness, like, crazy, like, really bad. Um, so, 40 weeks have been going really smooth. These past four days just have whizzed by. I Sometimes I even forget that I'm pregnant when I wake up in the morning, so... I say that's a good sign that everything is going well, that I'm just blessed that I am not going through a lot of pain during my pregnancy or that the baby is going through anything um, and that everything has been healthy and great. But that is just my update for 40 weeks. Um, sorry I couldn't tell you anything different. We are excited for baby girl to finally get here. We want her to get here so that we can hold her and cuddle her and meet her. Um, and I just hope here within the next few days that she does come or maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully baby girl makes her appearance soon because we are very anxious to see her. And I know that you guys are as well. We do plan on filming the birth, so stay tuned for a birth vlog as well as a name reveal vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my Instagram if you're curious on what's going on with baby. And I love hearing you guys' feedback, so go ahead and leave a comment down below. Bye, guys.